Hi, I'm Maria Miller. I'm a freshman from Scout Catholic. I like the words! And this poem is called Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare has always been one of my favorite games to play. This game full of dares make your cheeks glow bright, your words shake and your legs tremble. Truths revealing all the bones in your closet. But throughout my extensive experience in this game, one question always seems to make an appearance. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? When I was little, I would look up at the eternally expanding dome above me, eyes glistening and answer, flying. So I could rule the airborne sky with the singing flocks of birds, touch the cottonwood clouds and shape them into a collection of newly blooming lilies. But as I got older, the world around me changed and so did my answer. At the age of 10, awkward in silence by grief, crying in secret because he told me I was too old for that now, disappearing in the overbearing shadows of my siblings, I would mutter my answer, barely audible, mind reading, so I can know the biting truth of their thoughts. Last year, during a late night game of truth or dare, I was asked this question yet again. I looked at myself in the mirror that magnified my self-appointed flaws. My hair draped around my shoulders awkwardly. My stomach was not quite as flat as I wished. I longed for a gap between my thighs. My eyes were not quite blue enough. And I answered, shape-shifting, so I can morph my features to perfection. This answer haunts me. My mind was trapped in the shell I've been taught to hate, but after reading these books, the love of my life, and letting them influence my perspective, they taught me to have candor, to strive for ordinary acts of bravery. They taught me to overcome my fear about myself. I have learned that my life is a story, and there are a thousand pages I have not written yet, and it will not be written with pencils so it can be erased by shame. It'll be written with ink and read with confidence. My body is the cover holding this incredible tale. And if I were to alter myself in any way, it would change the plot, and I would lose my imperfect story. My eyes may not be the bluest shade of blue. My stomach is not as flat as the Great Plains. There will never be a gap between my legs. My hair will never fall perfectly in place. But I love my flawed self. So last night, when playing my favorite game again, I was asked, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I looked up at the eternally expanding dome above me, eyes clouded with the weight of the world, and answered, flying, so I could rule the airborne sky, wait for the flocks of birds to return, touch the cotton ball clouds, and shape them into an intertwining design.